These little cheap flame style lighters have been around for a long time and at only a buck, what a deal. And everybody knows you shouldn't let your cat play with them because of the highly flammable butane. I think butane is outdated. Let's make the world's first cheapy lighter laser burner. These things are pretty easy to take apart with a small screwdriver, so I popped out the flint wheel, which released a spring and the flint. Now the flint can be used for a pretty cool emergency fire starter, so hang on to that. After popping off the flame shield, it's time to release that nasty butane, and there's a small valve at the very bottom of these lighters, so I stuck a small pin in there and then tapped it, which released all the butane. Then the last part to remove was the little button that releases the butane. Now you'll want to save the button, the shield, and the flint wheel, because they'll be put back on later. Now it's time to completely gut the inside of this lighter, and I used a Dremel to cut open the bottom cover. Then I used a little sanding wheel attachment to finish it up. I also drilled out the two existing holes to make them a little larger for the components we're going to put inside. And those components are a small driver extracted from a blue laser pointer and also a blue laser diode in a small mini module. Now you can get both of these parts at laserdiy.com if you don't want to try to hunt them down yourself. And you'll also need to pick up a 4.3 ohm resistor and a small momentary switch. Now everything needs to be wired up according to this wiring diagram. The driver, the laser diode, the resistor, and the switch. Now there's only one thing missing and that's a power source. So I'm going to go back to my 12 volt battery hack and pop that 12 volt battery open to get myself a couple of button cells. And those will be attached to my positive and negative leads using a couple of small magnets. Now it's time to assemble everything inside of our lighter shell. The little switch, our laser diode, our driver, and finally our power source. Now remember that little button we removed? Well part of that needs to be cut off so it doesn't block the laser beam. Okay, everything's been reassembled, and now it's time to test out our cheapy lighter laser burner. It easily ignites fireworks, like this little smoke bomb. And of course, it'll light a cigarette. As with any laser, never point it at yourself or any living thing. And that's how to make the world's first cheapy lighter laser burner.